we decided to come back to Felixstowe even though the weather was definitely not supporting that decision but I just really wanted to be by the beach and my son wanted to go to the arcade and we kind of just made it work even though it was cold it was like a little bit drizzly it wasn't raining too much but you could definitely tell that there was some bad weather on the horizon as you can see like it was raining when we pulled up but it was still so, so much fun. I definitely am one of those people that doesn't need sunshine to enjoy being by the beach. morning everyone happy monday so yesterday i didn't bother vlogging i was gonna but then i just thought i didn't want to regurgitate content because i actually ended up taking my son back to felix it was like a really like not too cold it was like bearable cold like just right cold but it was really windy and really rainy yesterday but i just wanted to be by the water and it was just such a beautiful day we just went around the arcade we had a little walk around the area when like the rain had kind of lifted we sat and got chips and sat on kind of like the little pier bit that was covered so we were sat on a bench just like watching the waves sort of like just wash up on the shore and the seagulls were all kind of just like dotted around there and yeah we sat and we were completely covered so it was raining but we were covered and we were dry so we were nice and cozy eating our chips which like really warmed us up played a ton in the arcade um, and then we ended up getting gelato and then as we were heading back to the car with our gelato it started tipping it down so we kind of made it back to the car in like decent amount of time we probably could have left like maybe five minutes earlier to avoid the rain but it was so frustrating because on the drive home the sun came out but it's fine um I also had a gym session yesterday which was really really good felt strong felt like my usual self again although yesterday when we were at the beach like when we were at felix so i started feeling like i was getting a sore throat and i was like oh no is there something else coming now my throat feels okay my voice was a bit croaky this morning but it seems to have kind of like leveled out and i've been a little bit sneezy this morning but other than that i feel okay woke up to as you can see beautiful sunshine which put me in the most incredible mood so i'm feeling really great and like really positive for the day i'm really keen to like get the day going so today's agenda i don't have too too much planned um the first thing that i need to do is go to tesco's because i've run out of a few things that i need for me and my son especially like our usual things that we have of a day-to-day -day, like things that we have for breakfast and stuff like that so Tesco's is our first stop of the day. I also need to do a book renewal and a book return at the library because I get a load of books from the library for my son and it's nice to like interchange things because his taste is changing. That way I don't have to spend money on books. I mean, I do still buy him books, but this way he can like test out different books. And if he really likes it, like I've done that before with um, what the Ladybird heard on holiday, we hired that out or we rented that from not rented, borrowed from the library. And he got me to renew it so many times I ended up just buying it for him. So he actually has that book himself now and it's one of his favorite books. Even though it kills me to say ladybird because I call them ladybugs because they're a bug, they're not a bird, they're a ladybug. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna do the library. I think we're gonna pop to town and maybe just like have a little mooch, nothing too drastic. I did say to my son, that we would go to Dunelm and the range and have a look at some big boy beds because my son was basically saying to me this morning and he said it a couple of other times, my bed is more comfortable than his. And I said, is your bed uncomfortable? And he said that it is. And like, I can vouch for that because I get into his bed every single night and I like kind of like stroke his hair, tickle his back and stuff like that until he falls asleep. So I do lay in his bed, so I know that it is uncomfortable because it is a cot bed. So he's got a cot mattress on there, which is like, it's like plasticky, foamy sort of stuff. It's not as comfortable as it could be. So I am going to look into maybe potentially getting him a more comfortable 
big boy bed so yeah we're just gonna have a browse around and then i'm obviously gonna have a look online as well just so i can see if i can get a good deal somewhere because i don't want to spend a ton of money but i do want him to have a comfortable big boy bed so the fact that he's made a comment obviously means that something needs to change so yeah we're gonna go and have a look for some big boy beds and other than that i'm gonna be making lunch i'm gonna be making dinner making smoothies, things like that. I'm gonna try and keep the day nice and fun for my son because it's me and him all day. He's not like going to his dad's or anything today. We're not really seeing anyone today. So I'm gonna try and keep it as entertaining as I possibly can while still ticking things off of my to-do list. So I'll obviously get him to help me with the cooking and stuff like that. I try and get him involved in things like washing up and make it fun for him. So yeah, these tedious little things that we have to do on a day-to-day -day basis, he doesn't find so tedious. He finds them like quite fun. So outfit of the day today, I'm not wearing anything too exciting. I'm keeping my glasses on because I wore my contact lenses yesterday and they just gave me a headache. And I just feel like I don't need that in my life today. So I'm just gonna stick to my glasses. These ones are from Fermu. I love Fermu glasses. Then, I've just got this H&M cardigan on. I really like this with the floral pattern on. It's really pretty and it's like ribbed and I love the sleeve length as well. Then of course, because I can't go a day without wearing these, I've got my Primark trousers on. I absolutely love these. Like I mentioned, it's literally like going out in pajamas, but you look put together. And then I'm breaking out an oldie, but a goodie handbag. And this is a bag that I've actually bought myself. I got this from TK Maxx, it's the USPA shoulder bag I'm not really sure what you call it but it's like the perfect day-to-day -day size and I love that it's um I love that it's like that what's that material is it nylon I'm not even sure but yeah I really love it and I feel like it goes with my outfit with this color so I was looking for a more neutral bag today because the bag that I wore yesterday was a black bag and I needed something a bit more neutral to go with this outfit and I saw this baby in my bag collection and was like oh I'm gonna wear that today because I wanted something either crossbody or a shoulder bag because obviously I'm gonna be out running errands today and have my son so I thought this would be the perfect bag and the thing that I love about this bag is that it has an adjustable strap so you can have it as high or as low as you possibly want it to. If you need a bit more space between your armpit and the bag, you can like adjust it and make it larger because obviously you're gonna be wearing thicker layers. But yeah, I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna get Bub's dress because he's still in his birthday suit watching a show <laughs> at the moment. He's just finished up his breakfast. I'm gonna get him dressed, teeth done, and then we're gonna head on out to Tesco's. Yeah, back from town i thought i would show you some of the bits that we picked up from tesco's first and foremost so flavored water for smoothies pombez blue roll a snack but i didn't want to be too too naughty so i got the what is it the skinny co chocolate chip cookies that we already got into in the car my favorite cereal bars these are the deliciously ella ones and my favorite ones are the apple and raisin oat bars 
picked up some more of the Stockwell, and usually I have this on mornings where I train at the gym. Usually I'll have this with like honey and sultanas. Oat milk, I got the oatly one again, but I didn't get the barista edition, so I'm hoping that this is just as creamy because I'm really fancy and like a nice creamy coffee today. Apple and mango juice for Theo. Milk bread for Theo. Pineapple juice for me because I absolutely love pineapple juice. It's one of the most delicious things on the planet. I got some microwave rice because I just feel like we've been go, go, go today and I've just had a lot to do today and I'm already starting to feel tired and I know it's only a small thing to like make rice from scratch but I wanted to do egg fried rice for dinner tonight and I thought, you know what, I really can't be bothered to make rice and wait for all of that and have like an extra thing to wash up so I just got some of this and then I'll microwave it and then I'll add it to some egg while that's cooking. I got some ramen, this is the chicken one, this is my favourite, I absolutely love this, I was just really craving it, I went shopping when I was hungry which is always a bad idea. Picked up some bananas, we seem to get the bananas really really quickly at the moment, then I picked up some carrots because I wanted to do pickled carrots with dinner. Grab some gluten free pasta, fish fingers for my son, he absolutely loves fish fingers at the moment. Some more honey because we go through honey so quickly. Chocolate spread. I let my son choose his spread this time. Usually he'll either have peanut butter or reduced sugar jam. This time he's gone like full sugar and he picked chocolate spread to have on his toast. I think it's because he has this at his dad's house. Um, so yeah, he asked for this and I did say he could choose. So I didn't want to be that kind of mum and be like, no, you can only choose this or this. So this time around, I let him choose his spread. Next time I will choose a more healthy alternative. And then I just picked up some of the Stockwell tuna, just four tins for tuna and pasta, tuna wraps, tuna sandwiches, etc. etc. So yeah, that's everything that I got. And then I bought lunch out for us. So yeah, we had lunch out. My son had a ham sandwich and some Pringles and a fruit smoothie. And then I had this it's from Boots. It's so exceptional. I've featured it on a vlog before as well. It's just so freaking delicious. Um, it is the chicken tikka flatbread with yogurt and mint mayonnaise. I think that's what it is. It's a limited edition one. So I'm not sure how much longer it's going to be available for. But oh my goodness. I had it before. And I remember being on the phone and I was like, I feel like I could cry. It's like that tasty. Like I'm just so happy while I'm eating it. And I was getting like really sad towards the end when it was finished and it didn't disappoint this time either. So yeah, now that we're back, um, I'm probably just gonna prep a smoothie. I've let my son have a little bit of screen time just because we've been on the go literally all day and he's been so incredible. He's been so helpful. Like he was pushing the trolley earlier. He was like really receptive to, oh, should we go here and da 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 da. Um, we went to the range and as you would have seen, like we saw two beds one was too big and then one i really like the look of it and it's actually a really good price for what it is too but with their stuff you have to order it online so i'm obviously going to have a look online we also went to Dunelm, and the only single bed that they had it had kind of like um like floral patterns in the woodwork which obviously is a little bit feminine for my son so i'm not going to do that i wanted to just get him like a plain bed so i do think i'm going to have a little mooch online i feel like that was pretty unsuccessful but it's fine. I mean, a lot of the time now, you just kind of have to have a look online, don't you? So I'm going to have a look on the range website and see if I can find that single bed because I really do like that. It's like simple. It's big enough. The mattress was really comfy as well. So I took a picture of um, exactly what it is that I saw there. And then I'll have like a little mooch online at a few different online furniture stores to see what we can find because obviously I want him to be as comfortable as possible but it's given me the inspiration now to actually maybe just like completely rehaul his room like completely decorate it maybe paint it a little bit because I haven't really done anything in that room so yeah I'm thinking I might do that I'm thinking of potentially keeping the walls white but obviously like giving them a bit of a refresh but then painting one of his walls maybe like sage green like his wall where his bed is and I'll have like a rejig I think obviously where he's going to have a bigger bed I need to think about where it is that I'm going to put his bed yeah and I just kind of I want to make a little blueprint maybe like not a blueprint but like I want to plan it a little bit I want him to have like a really nice reading nook I wanted to get some like storage furniture stuff in there and maybe make it 
just like a little bit more of a functional bedroom. I feel like at the moment all he does is he has his toys in this like big toy basket. And I just, I don't feel like there's much organization to the room. I feel like it's very kind of like mixed match, but I don't know, we'll see. Once we've got the bed, that's when I'll probably start making these plans. So yeah, for the rest of the day now, it's nearly one o'clock now and we've been out all day. I'm starting to like fatigue a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but it's fine. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is while I still have a little bit of energy, I'm gonna start prepping dinner and then I'm also gonna do a smoothie while he's having his show because that way I'm like uninterrupted. I can just crack on and get that done. And then I have said to him, that um we'll do some i'm not sure i'm torn i've basically said to him we can do the park and we can also do just like some drawing he does this thing at the moment where he really likes to draw a picture and then i have to guess what it is um he'll literally do it for like ages and he'll do like picture after picture after picture after picture and i don't actually think that he's drawing anything i think when he likes one of my guesses he's like yeah that's what it is so um, yeah, we're gonna do that, but I'm not sure which one to do first because obviously I have to think about the park situation. There's a school by the park that we go to. So all the school kids come to the park after school. So it's gonna be busy. So I'm not sure what time I wanna do that. Also, I need to like take the weather into consideration. So maybe we'll do the park first and then we'll do like the coloring and stuff like that. I don't know, we'll see. But so far it's a really nice day. It's kind of like, a bit of a nothing day. I do want to do like some educational stuff with him as well. So maybe we will stay in for the afternoon actually, because he's going to his dad's tomorrow. So his dad usually takes him to, cause his dad lives in the countryside. He gets to get out like a lot more and like go on really nice nature walks and stuff like that. So maybe we'll like, have seen as how we've been out all morning, maybe we'll stay in for the afternoon. We'll do some like creative play and then maybe we'll do some educational stuff as well. Cause I'm really trying to up his Spanish. Um, I've started like implementing different things. So like, I'll say certain things to him, like the bedtime routine at bedtime, I'll say good night and I love you and all of that sort of thing. I'll say all of that in Spanish. So I'm trying to like teach him different things like that, but I don't know Spanish myself. So I'm trying to like teach myself to teach him. So yeah, I just think it's really handy for him to like learn it and he's got a really good memory. And so I feel like while he's young and his brain's like such a sponge, I feel like it'd be really good to teach him that. My dad frequents Spain really, really often. So I do feel like he's gonna be going to Spain quite a lot. So that's why I kind of wanna get a head start on him learning Spanish. So he's really good actually. He's so, so good. Like he knows, um, he knows his numbers up to 10 in Spanish. He knows his colors in Spanish. He knows like greetings and pleasantries in Spanish. Um, what else does he know? He knows random little things actually, cause he sometimes watches Spanish shows. Sometimes I put Spanish shows on for him and then he'll say something to me in Spanish and I'm like, I, I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, so he's a clever boy. He, if like, if you try and teach him something, he is most likely gonna remember it and he'll he'll take it in relatively easily, which, yeah, I'm so proud of. He's like, he's just such a smart boy. So I'm just marinating my chicken. I've got chicken thighs in the peanut satay sauce. And then now I'm gonna move on to the carrots and I'm gonna pickle them as well. And then, there's not really too much else to do. I think I'm going to do some tender stem broccoli as well, potentially. We'll see. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. So it's a little bit later on in the day, but I just wanted to really quickly jump on because the footage that I'm about to film probably wouldn't make sense if I didn't intro this part of the vlog. So this morning was a very slow start to the morning, went to the gym, had a really good workout and the sun was shining. I just felt in a really positive mood, had a great time in the gym, felt really strong, got my workout done, came home, prepped, got ready. I had to do a little bit of work before we were able to leave, but basically we're going to Westo today. I wanted to be outside in nature and I wanted to be by water. So we're going to go to this place called Westo, which isn't really far from where I live. It's a really beautiful place and it's got a huge, huge, huge lake. There's a big park as well for Theo to play at. So we're going to go there today. And I thought I would take you guys along just because it's a really wonderful place and not a lot of people know about it. It's also something very fun and it's obviously free. So it's inexpensive if you want to do something with your day and you don't really know what to do. So yeah, usually when I want to get outside and I don't want to spend a lot of money, I will go to places 
like this. There's so many things like this readily available in the town that I live. So I absolutely love that fact. There's so much nature around us, which I feel so, so grateful for. Even though I live in the center of a town, I'm able to be in nature within not very long at all, literally within like 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, I'm dressed really casually. I was wearing like a short sleeve, kind of like tight fitted top for the gym, but I wanted to be comfortable. The sun's also gone behind a ton of clouds now. So it's a lot colder now. So I thought I would just put something comfy on. So I've literally just put this big black baggy hoodie on. And then I've kept my gym leggings on. Ignore the bed. It's not made. It's Sunday. I'm not going to make the bed and we're going to have leftovers for dinner. We're going to be lazy today, but we're going to be outside for a majority of the day. So that's okay. Um, so yeah, I got some snacks from the shop for us to have like a mini picnic. So I've made my son and I um, like some tuna pitters. I've got cookies, quiche, pepperamis, crisps. Not really too much. Um, and yes, there is laundry back there too, which again, I probably won't be doing till this evening. So yeah, I kept my outfit very, very basic. Like I said, I'm just wearing what I wore at the gym. And then I've busted out an oldie, but a goodie, like an old favorite of mine. I used to use this all the time when I went on like dog walks in the village that I used to live in. It's my little cross body bag. It's filthy because like I mentioned, I used to take it on like dog walks. So it used to get caked in mud all the time where I used to hold my son and he had muddy shoes. It would just kind of like go on this bag. But luckily for me, it's a nylon bag, meaning that it's easily wipeable. So yeah, I've just got some of my essentials that I might need, but I obviously need to be hands-free because I am guaranteeing that my son is going to want to be carried at some point. So I need to be able to have my hands free to be able to hold him. So I'll probably just push this back round like this so that I can have him up against me and this makes things nice and easy for me to carry some of our essentials and then I'll probably leave like our food stuff in the car and we'll come back and have like a little picnic it's not really going to be a picnic it's just going to be snacks but yeah I'm really excited actually nails are still red I'm really really enjoying them and I'm enjoying them shorter although I was editing a vlog of mine earlier today and I saw my nails when they were shorter and square and now I'm really fighting the urge to change them to square nails because it's just so much more faff than it is to just file them and paint them. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to head off in just a second. I lost my earrings, which is so frustrating. So, you know, the really cute ones that I absolutely love from Timu, the really inexpensive ones. So I'm literally just going to replace them with the exact same ones. But it means that I'm going to have to wait for shipping because shipping takes a long time. And it also means I have to buy other things because you have to spend a minimum of £15 to get free shipping. So, um, yeah, anyway, um, I lost my earrings. Basically, I was in the shower and I was exfoliating my face and I had exfoliating gloves on and the exfoliating glove caught the earring and the earring fell down down and i tried to stop it before it went down the plug hole and as i went forward i don't know if you remember one of my timu hauls where i bought this like shower this kind of like metal shower shelf basically that's like on the side in my bath slash shower and as i bent forward i smacked my forehead on the corner of it and obviously it's metal so i really caught myself on the forehead yesterday i had a very unlucky day yesterday it was a great day but i had a lot of like little mishaps Let's just say that. So yeah, I've lost my earrings and I don't really want to put anything else in because there's nothing as dainty as those ones. So I am going to have to reorder them from Timu. But speaking of jewellery, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of a piece of jewellery that I'm going to be filming next week for an upcoming collaboration. I have been sent some jewellery pieces to review on my channel. The video will actually already be live by the time that you watch this vlog because I'm posting that before I'm posting this vlog. My vlogs just in case anyone is wondering my vlogs are usually a little bit backdated usually like a couple of weeks behind where I actually am at in life um sometimes a little bit more but it just really does depend just because it's hard because I only put up one vlog a week maybe I should do a little bit more I'm not really sure but um yeah I just wanted to show you this ring really quickly in the vlog how stunning is this i'm literally so blown away by it the quality of it and just the style of it as well it just feels really luxurious and expensive and it's like nice and chunky but still kind of dainty if that makes sense but if you can see it's a mixture of metals too so gold and silver with beautiful stones all the way around you're gonna have to ignore my hands i was actually talking to a woman in the gym today and she was showing me her like I don't know if they're called calluses or what they're called, but yeah, she was showing me hers as well. And I was like, oh, we're matching. And I was like, I just don't have it in me to wear gym gloves. And she was like, I would not let you wear gym gloves. Like, that's just a big no-no. And I was like, yeah, I wouldn't wear them anyway. But 
it's nice to know that other women suffer with that issue as well because I know as women we want to have like delicate feminine dainty hands but it kind of <laughs> I don't know it butchers up your hands a little bit doesn't it if you weight lift at the gym so I mean it's just it's not really a huge deal it doesn't really bother me that much but yeah I just wanted to show you that ring really really quickly because I've been really enjoying it and then I have two other pieces as well if you are interested in that like I say it's already up on my channel so check that out because the pieces are freaking phenomenal I would say I like two out of the three more one of them is a little bit bigger than my personal style and I didn't realize it was as big and as statement as it actually is but it is the most stunningly designed ring and if it was smaller if it was like a little bit scaled back oh my goodness it would literally be my dream ring so yeah i'm gonna try and make sure to maybe pop the link for that video down in the description just in case if i do forget it's on my channel you'll be able to find it very very clearly so yeah i'm gonna head on out now i'm gonna chuck some trainers on i think i'm gonna be warm enough in this i'm not gonna bother taking a coat but yeah we're gonna head on out and have a lovely day out in nature so whatever you're doing on your sunday i really hope that you're having a magical day